Now has more. Throughout this global pandemic, an evolving narrative of what to expect and how to respond, as called out in a hearing on Capitol Hill. And really the history of this, when we look back, will be of wrong prediction after wrong prediction after wrong prediction. In mid-January, in a tweet, the World Health Organization dismissed the idea of human-to-human -human transmission of the coronavirus. In another tweet six weeks later, the U.S. Surgeon General urged people to stop buying masks, saying they're not effective. And this was the early message from the Commander-in-Chief. Mm -hmm. We're going to continue. It's going to disappear. One day it's like Thank a miracle. God. It will disappear. Yeah. That same week, one of this country's top infectious disease experts was urging the public to stay calm. I don't think people should be frightened. I mean, uh, the, the risk right now, today, currently, is really relatively low for the American public. No, right now, at this moment, there is no need to change anything that you're doing on a day-by-day -day basis. The tone from Dr. Anthony Fauci now far different, as he warns of suffering and death if states reopen too quickly. There is a real risk that you will trigger an outbreak that you may not be able to control. On Capitol Hill, there remains a deep divide between Democrats and Republicans on the best way to move forward. But both parties seem to understand now the gravity of this situation and the need for much more testing. All roads back to work and school go through testing. The failure to ramp up production of testing and personal protective equipment early on during this crisis made things worse here. Part of that we now know was due to a decision by the Centers for Disease Control not to use a World Health Organization test for COVID-19 and instead develop their own, one that was soon discovered to be flawed and often inaccurate. Another piece of the puzzle many health experts believe may have played a role in setting this country back. I'm Christine Frizzell reporting. Moving on now, an investigator with the Taylor County Sheriff's Office reacting to the arrest of a former Abilene 